Hi, this is Bart with the Bicycle Rider. And here on the Bicycle Rider, we really try to review products that are a very good value that also function extremely well. And this full suspension mountain bike here that I've been riding uh, all year long, 2019, has really proven itself to be a very high quality mountain bike at an extremely good price for, for, for what this is. And this is the 2019 Marin Rift Zone. And I've made a, a few videos on this bike for another YouTube channel, the, the Gov Velo. They're an online bicycle store. And at first they, they commissioned me just to test ride this bike because they do believe in, in only selling products that they believe are you know, worthy of selling. So they, they commissioned me to ride this bike and make sure it was a, a good bike to ride. And I like this bike so much I ended up purchasing this bike uh, for myself to ride in 2019. And uh, we're coming into the 2020. So this is, this is the, uh, the end of my long-term review on the Marin Rift Zone. And this bike has been extremely impressive. And I, and I really have put this bike to the test and ridden with some guys on some very, very high dollar bikes, some real high caliber uh, riders. And this bike, I'm gonna say is a budget bike for what it is. It's about a $2,000 full suspension mountain bike. And when you're saying a $2,000 uh, full suspension bike is a budget bike, if you look at the price on, on a lot of full suspension mountain bikes, you know, you're, you're not gonna be surprised to see you know, $3,000, $4,000, $5,000, $10,000. And this bike has been able to ride with any of those bikes, and I don't feel like this bike is holding me back. And uh, I do own a, a, a carbon fiber, full suspension, specialized Epic, which I think most people know that's one of the, the fastest bikes on the planet. So this, this bike here really has had a high bar to live up to. And, um, you know, just the price on my race bike is over $10,000. And I'm only saying that because I just want to put it in perspective, $10,000, $2,000. And this bike rides, it actually feels better on the trail than my Epic. And I think a lot of that has to do with, with the design uh, of this bike. Uh, it says right here on the frame, and the camera is not going to pick it up because I've got it in a weird spot. But right down here on the frame, it says made for fun. And this bike is definitely made for fun with the modern style geometry that Marin has designed with this bike. And when I say that, there, there's a, a lot of um, acclaim to the design of this frame that can go into more detail. But it's basically a low, fast, stable platform. This is Marin's fastest mountain bike uh, as far as full suspension mountain bike. So when I'm saying long, it's long enough that it'll track through the sand or a trail without feeling uh, like you're, you're out of control or having to watch every little bump. This, this bike is really tracked so good it self-corrects itself. Uh, this bike makes you feel like it, you're a better rider than you actually are. And with that said, the way this frame is designed compared to the way that the suspension works, and this is Marin's uh, multi-track suspension, and at 120 millimeters, that's almost like the sweet spot of suspension right now, where you're not having so much suspension that it's weighing you down, or so much suspension that you're never gonna use it. With 120 millimeters, it keeps things light, efficient, and fast. And that's exactly what this bike has, has proven itself to, to do. Um, I, I ride a lot down in, in the south, and down here, speed is king. So, um, this bike is fast. It's super fast, especially for, for the price you're going to pay on it. And, you know, one of the, one of the reasons um, Marin has been able to sell this bike at a, a price point like $2,000 is because, you know, they've been around for a long time, uh, since about 1986. They're Marin County, California, kind of the birthplace of mountain biking. And I have met the founder of this company. I have met uh, the, the uh, people who work at Marin. I've met some of the designers. I've met some of the mechanics. They're all bicycle riders, so it's a bicycle orientated company. And they were able to get together with their component uh, distributors and, and come up with a package that really works good. Uh, I've, I've tried to ride this bike stock as long as I could, um, and it worked fantastic stock. So basically this bike is in a stock configuration except for some upgraded rims. And the only reason I had to put these rims on is because uh, Crank Brothers sent me these rims to test out 
and I really didn't want to ride another bike to test these uh, rims out. So I put the, the Crank Brothers rims on the, uh, on the Marin Rift Zone, and oh my gosh, what a, what a good combination. But let me just say that the, the stock rims that come on this bike are really very nice. They're a nice modern wide rim. They're 29 millimeters wide. And don't get confused because the, the, the diameter of these rims are also 29 inch wheels. But 29 millimeter pin weld rims come stock on this bike. So really there's no reason that you have to change the rims out. Uh, like I said, the only reason I did is because I'm, I'm testing these rims out for, for Crank Brothers and boy, they have passed the test as well. But this video is really about the rift zone and the value that this bike uh, has really proven that it can uphold and still ride well. Where, you know, you might find some $2,000 mountain bikes on, on the market, but I don't think that they have hit the mark right. You know, and, and you might buy a $2,000 full suspension mountain bike that the suspension is just not going to work right, or, you know, it steals a little energy from you or doesn't ride right. Well, this bike they have really just done a good job with because it rides fantastic and anybody that I've let ride this bike says the same thing that they can't believe the ride qualities of this bike and how fast and efficient it is for the price. So this, this will be my last video on this bike this year and that's only because I'm going to get a 2020 and one of the reasons I'm sticking with Marin is because um, I believe in their design especially after riding, riding this bike. So let me just go over some of the, the specs real quick on this bike. You can look it up online. But just some of the highlights that Marin put on this bike. We've got a, a, a SRAM 11-speed NX drivetrain. And this drivetrain is set up one by. And it works so good in this configuration. Uh, it's set up one by. It's got, it's got a, a Mega Tooth 30 um, sprocket on the front mated to a FSA Comet crank. And i got to say that this crank is very stiff. Um, I put a lot of power through this crank and it really helps put the put the power through the drivetrain. So having a, a, a nice crank is is something important. But when it's mated to this uh, SRAM NX11 with the with the front shifters that we have up here, everything just just clicks so good. This bike is seamless. It's like pulling a trigger when you're when you're hitting gears. And I have never missed shift. And like I said, I, I try to ride with some really, really fast groups. So, you know, when you're, when you're under pressure and you've got guys breathing down your back, it's so nice when you can click a gear and know it's, know it's going to hit. And this NX drive system has always hit. And I'm comparing this to, uh, you know, a Shimano XTR that I have on my race bike. And I have to say that this is very, very crisp. So the trickle-down technology has really come into play into some of the more affordable uh, Grupos. Another not really nice thing about this bike has been the Shimano brakes. We've got a hydraulic brake system, a 180 millimeter front disc and 160 millimeter rear disc. And this bike stops on a dime, yet it's got plenty of modulations coming through the, the stroke here. So, so if you're worried about the, the brake system on this bike, worried that you're going to have to buy a bike and next thing you're going to have to do is upgrade brakes, don't. These brakes work fantastic. And uh, once again, I think trickle-down technology has, has happened in this. Uh, we've got a, a RockShock Recon, the 2019 model. So it's really taken a lot of the characteristics of its uh, more expensive brother, the Revelation. And the 2000 model, 2019 model Recon, RockShock Recon, really is one of those shocks that has proven itself over the years, not only on this bike, but on, on many other bikes as a, as a shock that doesn't need a whole lot of maintenance, but yet really does its job very well. So a uh, nice job on the Recon. It's got a Deb RockShock Debonair on the back. And once again, the, at 120 millimeters, this, this bike really feels like it has more suspension than that. Uh, you know, launching off big jumps, um, hit, hitting some rollers. This bike has no problem with 120 millimeters of suspension, yet as fast as this bike is, if you were to, you know, take this bike to a bike park or something like that, I don't think you're going to have any problem, you know, launching off some big hits with 120 millimeters. It's, it's really a, a sweet spot for a cross-country style fun mountain bike. And that's why I'm going to call this bike a, a quiver killer. Um, you don't need four or five mountain bikes when you can buy one that does everything 
fairly well. You know, on one end of the spectrum, it's not going to be as fast and light as a full-on carbon fiber hardtail race bike, but it's going to ride so much better. Uh, and, and on the other end, it's not a 160-millimeter um, downhill bike. But, you know, those are both ends of the spectrum. You get something in the middle, and especially if you're on a, a budget, you know, both ends of that, that, that spectrum are going to cost you a lot more than $2,000. So for $2,000, you got a bike that really, really rides very good. Um, a, a lot better than a comparable uh, hardtail that you could buy for $2,000. And that's what a lot of people do. They'll take their $2,000 and they'll get... You make sure they've got the Shimano XTR components, or actually for $2,000, you can't even buy a Shimano XTR components. But you know, you can get Shimano XT, which I love Shimano XT. It, it works great, so I'm not saying anything bad about it, but I'm just saying that some of the trickle-down technology of some of the, the lower-end Shimano and, and mid-range SRAM components work just fine. So if you're on a budget, don't be scared that you're gonna buy this bike and next thing you're gonna have to do is upgrade shifters and upgrade brakes and upgrade everything. This bike works fantastic. One really fun thing about this bike is the dropper seat post and this comes stock. So as you can see I just hit the lever, the seat post went up and, and that has been something that's been so fun to have and so valuable. I don't think I'm going to have another uh, mountain bike without a dropper seat post because this thing really spoiled me. It's so nice just being able to hit that lever, use that dropper seat post to, to gain a little traction in a straightaway. And as you're coming into a tight section and need a little bit more control, you just put a little pressure with your butt on the seat, hit the lever, and you come down just, a, just a, a few, an inch or so, and, and you've got more room to, to move around on that saddle. So uh, very good option, and, and you know this is an upgrade on a lot of bikes. So, so when you're looking at the price of this, look, that it already has a dropper seat post. Um, it came with some really nice tires, these, these Crown Gem V tires have been just awesome. They, they roll really good, they've got traction. Uh, I've had a, a lot of people ask me what tires these were. And uh, you know, sometimes that's the first thing you have to do when you, when you buy a new bike is get the, the tire for the condition you're, you normally ride in. But these tires have seemed to work good in multiple conditions, including some very sandy fast single track, and I ride that quite a bit. And these tires work for that. Yet if I get into a, a, a muddy situation, um, they seem to have a lot of traction in the mud too. So just a good all-around all around tire. Um, this bike has really been uh, fantastic. The, the cockpit is a Marin's branded uh, aluminum cockpit. The, the frame is a Series 3 aluminum hydroformed and they've done a really good job. Everything looks nice and clean. Um, sometimes the color of this, this blue doesn't quite come out as good in pictures. Uh, we're running this in 4K, so you might be able to see it pretty good. But the blue is really a cool looking blue, and this yellow has been fantastic for visibility. And we run a lot of two-way trail systems here, and I, I ride pretty fast, so you know collisions can happen when that happens. And I've had more people compliment me on the color of this bike because they can see it coming through the trail. So, you know, that might just be an added feature. They probably put this color on because it looks cool. But if you are you know, in a situation where you're, you're riding faster than the normal guy and, and people are looking out for you, they can see you with this bike. So there, there's just a lot of positives with this bike and I am just going to have to give it an A plus for this year as, as a bike that I really didn't have to put any money into and it was able to just ride, ride, ride. And I can't say that about my race bike. My race bike cost me a lot of money to, to ride and to train on. So. That's one of the reasons I like having a trail bike or a second mountain bike. I can just ride, 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 and when it comes race time, I, my race bike is, is, is fresh. And really, to tell you the truth, this bike rides so much better than my race bike. I can do multiple laps or a lot of miles in one day where sometimes on my race bike, you know, it's, it's pretty harsh. And I can't quite put it in as many miles and feel good afterwards. So there, there's something to be said for a trail bike that rides fast, and this is definitely one of those. So uh, I think Marin's changing a few things on the 2020s. And when I get that bike in my hand, I'm going to do a, a, a review on that bike as well, and hopefully a long-term review. But after a year of riding the Rift Zone 2, it's, it's the Model 2, so it's the middle spec. They've got the Rift Zone 1, which is on the lower end, and the Rift Zone 3, which is a little bit higher tier. But this is right in the middle, the Rift Zone 2. It's been a fantastic bike at a great price. And, and when I say 
that I bought this bike myself, I was planning on spending a lot more than $2,000 on a mountain bike. But since I was able to buy a mountain bike for $2,000 that did everything I wanted to do, it left a little money in my pocket to take a few, few vac bicycle vacations and, and really have fun with this bike. So thank you, Moran. And thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions at all on the Marin Rift Zone, just hit me up. I've spent a year on this bike, and I, I know it inside and out, so I'd be glad to answer any questions. Thank you.